This is code.org, and we are in painter plus.java. Yep, we got that. Okay, write the method signature for move self method. Guys, by the way, if you don't have this, we imported it from the backpack. They explain how early, earlier in this lesson, you really need painter plus. Write the method for the move self method. All right, so right away, we need a method signature. I'm headed to painter plus, pata, and a signature, right? When you sign your name, what do you write? Hint your name right so that's a signature when you're signing your name same thing with the method signature so we need the method's name which apparently is move self okay but that's not it but let me throw in the curly brackets right now though and hit enter before this and we have references above it right public void whatever method public void move or take paint so that's what we need here too we'll go into details at some point what that stuff is it's the access modifier public and then this is the return type. But for now, know that it needs to go there for the methods we've created thus far. All right, boom, we got a method signature, cool. Inside the move south method, use your pseudocode from two-way selection statements to write the Java code for the painter plus object to move forward. I'm gonna actually steal this, copy. And I like to test this stuff while I'm running it, while I'm trying it out, right? So to do that, I'm actually going to do it in my neighborhood.java first. I'll get rid of it after a bit, but it's really hard to code without seeing how things work. So that's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and comment all of this out, which will kind of be my pseudo code. Just a moment to plug this uh, sheet right here, guys, which you might have had a physical copy of my students should have or a copy online. It doesn't really matter. This stuff is here to help you. This is actually the problem solving process. It's a really great way and approach to create design and implement useful algorithms. And pseudocode is a real thing at Google or Meta or Apple that developers do. And it's an excellent tool for planning. So make sure you have thought these out and have something down. Now, I'm taking their words and just kind of throwing them here, and I'm going to see what I would do with them. All right, so move forward while, ooh, so I bet that's a loop. Move forward while it can move south. All right, so a while loop, right? So I'm going to do my own pseudocode-ish. And again, pseudocode gots to, gots to be in your own words, of course. So, uh, while the painter can move south, boop, 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 painter should move south. Okay? So, as long as the painter can move south, we need to. All right, I'm going to delete this line because this is just copied over from their instructions. If it is not facing shelf, it should turn shelf. Uh, if it is not facing south, it should turn right. Oh, and this was otherwise. Okay, so if it is not facing south, it should turn right. Otherwise, otherwise, it moves forward. Okay, so if it is not facing south, it should move right. So while the painter can move south, painter should move south. So now let's talk the ifs, right? We have some ifs. If it is not facing south, and what do they mean by it is if the painter is not facing south, the painter should turn right. Otherwise, painter should move forward. I'm just replacing these. Okay, so I'll be honest, guys. This is my second time recording. This language could be more clear. I really do dislike these instructions to some degree. Because I would think a very decent interpretation of this, one that I would think follows this, actually, is to say, all right, as long as you can move south, move south. After the wall loop, right, after we are out of that, we know we can't move south. So if not facing south here, turn right, else move forward, okay? And so these would be different statements as they are worded here. And that makes a lot of sense to me. I'm pointing this out because I just attempted that. This stuff is confusing. So be nice to yourself when you think it's confusing. You're right. All right. What the, I believe the action they're looking for, and you want to look at this page too, it is helpful, right? We have resources for a reason. 
What I believe they're trying to ask for is while the painter can move south, the painter should move south. I believe this all is going to be part of that. So not just move south, right? If that we're not facing south inside of my wall loop, if painter not facing south, painter turn right. Otherwise, you can read else when you see otherwise, right? So otherwise, else, what are we doing? Move forward. Cool. All right. Bam. And now we mush that all together. So now that I have some pseudocode mapped out here in my own words, let's give this a shot. Let's try out some of this logic. So I know I'll need a while loop. What's a while loop do? It repeats as long as whatever I throw into this is true. All right, so I do the parentheses and curly brackets. Otherwise, I forget and I get so many errors. All right, wall. Now, what do I ask again? What's the question here? So wall, the painter can move south. Okay, and let's think about the resources. What do we have access to? Let me see if this document hit upon some of them. It does not, but thankfully we're aware of this. We've used it before, but I'll just point out, right? We've seen this, here's our painter class. We have access to can move, right? That is a method from our painter class. We can also do can move with the direction and a string means it's in quotes. So we can use that here, right? This can be a question, that can be what we're asking and it responds with a Boolean, which is a fancy way of saying true or false. So while I need to, since I am in the My Neighborhood class, I need to write, let's see, our object's name is My Painter Plus, My Painter Plus dot can move. Bam, and I got it. So as long as we can move, which is what we have here, we want to keep running. And as long as we can move, everything inside of these curly brackets will repeat forever because it will run through the code, it hits the bottom, and we have to check again. Hey, hey, painter, can you move? And the computer says, I don't know. Looks, asks the painter checks if the painter can move and it says yep yep true you can move or false if we're way down here we can't move anymore all right so that is what we're doing here we're asking if we can move what we need to know now decisions let's put the direction in we need to make sure it is south that's what the instructions say and we can do that with quotes that's a parameter cool that's our wall loop and the second we're not facing south, this would drop below and run code beneath it. All right, so as long as we're facing south, cool. What do we want to repeat? Well, we need to ask if the painter is facing south, right? So if, and I know I need a not, but I'm just going to lie for a second. If, and I'm going to do the same thing, parentheses, curly bracket, enter. Otherwise, I forget. All right, so if, and I have to use the object again, my painter plus dot, facing south what were those methods we had access to is facing south perfect and look it responds with a boolean a true or a false exactly what we need is facing south all right so here i'm saying hey hey computer is the painter facing south as long as we're facing south it will run the code in here which is not perfect because we don't care we care what if we're not facing south all right so i don't care if we're facing south i want to know if we're not and the way i can do that is super simple it's called a negation operator it's called a not and i put in that explanation point and now i'm asking the computer hey hey you computer is the painter not facing south just with that little character and that's exactly what we need and if we're not facing south what code do i want to run i want the painter to turn right so my painter plus dot turn right cool 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 all right all of this is looking good as long as i can move south if my painter plus is not facing south turn right great now what do i need else move forward else move oh and i don't need to put forward right that's automatic now I want to remind you, how does this work? Well, I'm saying, hey computer, is the painter not facing south? If the painter's not facing south, cool, we're going to turn right. However, if we are facing south, if we are facing south, 
this would be false, right? We're saying, are you not facing south? If we're facing south, this is false. The computer cannot run this code because the if is false, but it has to run the else. My painter plus that move. And then we hit the bottom, we go back up to the top and we say, hey, painter, how about now? Can you move south? As long as we can still move south, cool. We'll check one more time. Am I facing south? If not, I got to turn right and I skip this code. If I am facing south, I move. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh, I want to comment this out so we can read, see just this method run or just this code run. Bam. And that's exactly like theirs. I want to point out one thing real quick, guys. How they worded this, they really want us to use the not operator, the negation operator. What is else correct? What would I give a 100% to? Because code's about the functionality. So if you're not facing south, well, what runs if I take away the not? This now means if you're facing south. Well, if I'm facing south, they're asking me to move. So I'm going to cut this dude and say, all right, if I'm facing south, move. Now, if I'm not facing south, right, if this is false, that means I'm not facing south. I don't need to ask if we're facing south. If this is false, I know we're not facing south. And so then I run the else. This functions the same, and I would give complete and full credit to. There's more than one good solution, right? There's more than one way to solve it in general, but there's a few really ideal solutions. And I just want to point that out. Code, it's not always there's one correct answer. All right. This looks great. I got to move it over now. I'm going to get rid of my pseudocode stuff. Bam, bam. And I'm just going to take this entire thing and cut. Go over to Painter Plus. Head over to my method signature that I did earlier. And I'm going to hit paste. Now, I got to format this a bit. I also have to get rid of my Painter Plus. I am in the Painter Plus class. I have access to all the Painter methods. This object, my Painter Plus, is instantiated here. We don't need it at all. We can do, have direct access. So I got to kill this off with the period. Jujup, jujup, jujup. All right. That all looks good. Is this formatting? That formatting is fine. Cool, cool, cool. Bam, maybe. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Now to try it, all I have to do is... Cool, and it works the exact same. I might uncomment this out just to try them together. Victory! And we're good to go. Pretty cool. This stuff can be tricky, but it's really rewarding to watch this little painter move, right? Well, I think so. All right. Onward.